And, and sometimes the problem with training is not actually on the compliance of the training, but actually the problem with training at times is um, the retention, no? the retention. A lot of us actually attended a lot of trainings already, but um, unfortunately, we were not able to retain those things because in, in the business of in, in the business we have right now, there are, oh, there are two things that we would like to remember or I would like you to remember. Number one, as much as you are in business for yourself, meaning you're going to be doing this business, you're going to be selling properties, and at the same time, you're going to be building your, your network. You're going to be building your organization. You're going to be building your team. Now, because you are building your team, there is also a need for you to know and to learn how to teach them. It is one thing to know. It is another thing to teach. Not all people are really good at teaching. But I always believed in my heart that anyone can teach. Why? Why I do believe that case that any, anyone can teach? Because everyone can be a parent. And if you are a parent, and anybody for that matter can be a parent, meaning we can teach. The moment you and I was elevated to the parenthood possession, that, that day or that moment, we were actually elevated into a certain possession that we are capable to lead, we are capable to teach. So I really don't buy the idea that we cannot lead, and I really don't buy the idea also that we cannot teach. Because if that is true, then what would, be, well, then what would happen to the Filipino family or to the entire world's family? Then it would be more chaotic, no? So meaning, it's not true. It's not true. And biblically, it's not what God designed, no? So meaning, since, since leadership has been appointed in the family, meaning there is someone that can lead and there is someone that can really teach, okay? So we're, we're just looking at the principles behind. Because a lot of people will always say na, I joke, um, ikaw lang mag-train kasi uh, gift mo yan. No, everyone, everyone has it. Everyone has it because... Uh, sabi ko pa nga eh, the way or the time when you were elevated into the parenthood possession, you are already appointed by the Lord to be the leader and the teacher. Being a parent, we have children to lead and we have children to teach. Meaning, what could be if you don't know how to teach? Eh, gulo, -gulo yan. No, gulo, -gulo yan. So meaning, we just have to learn it. We just have to learn it so that you and I will be able to teach it. Okay. So, yan, nakapa, nakapasok na, no? Nakapasok na. So, before anything else, um, this afternoon, um, supposedly we will be joined by Primary Home Cebu, but I think because of the holidays, they have canceled it. So, a uh, good thing is that uh, Property24 offered their slot, but However, it will not be in our meeting room. It will be in the meeting room. So um, I've sent in the group chat, in the chat room, at practically all of the chat box, um, the, the details for the Property 24 uh, meeting this afternoon. Now, the reason why I invited you there, because as what I have shared, now the business of real estate has become more and more competitive. Every single day, we are actually competing with one another. In fact, the one that joins today, our colleague, kasamahan natin dito sa DTPI, is part of, our, part of that competition. They are also our competitor. Internal lang nga. No, they are our internal competitor. But aside from the internal competitor we have, we have a thousands of competitors outside. And whether you agree with me or not, you'd need to have tools. You don't go into the battle without gears. You, you really have gears. You have, you have ammunition. You have weapons. Because if you go to the battlefield and you're, you're carrying nothing, it would be in a snap of a finger that you're going to die or you're going to be killed in the battleground. So in order for us to survive in the battleground, you need to be or we need to be equipped and we need tools. You cannot build a house without a tools. You cannot build a building without the tools. You cannot build a business without even a tools. There will always be tools that you are going to use. And Property24 and Carousel are one of those tools. No? 
a lot of our sellers actually are using that tools and they were enjoying quite a good sale just for example uh, just yesterday yesterday um uh I don't know if Pons, uh, Richard Lisondra is here, but Richard Lisondra was able to make a sale in Deca Homes or Romok, and it was his Lamudi client. No, um, well, who else? Uh, Melona. Melona is a property twenty-four uh, uh, subscriber now who keeps on selling in Butuan. It's a property twenty-four deal. Um, who else? Uh, Jennifer in La Husta in, in Bohol now who keeps on selling properties. It's a pre P34 uh, subscriber. And there's a lot more. No, I, I cannot remember everything. And they have their own group chat. And it's doing well. It, it, you need to have tools. Because if you don't have tools, it's really, really difficult. Yes, we can fight back. Yes, we can survive. But tools would really make the difference. No? Tools will really make the difference. And... And I always say this, I always say this, this is a business. And, and in, in any form of businesses, you really have to have some investment. Not, not, not for any other reason, just when we say investment, meaning there has to be returns with that. If you use properly whatever things you have invested, there will always be returns. There will always be. So as I shared, as I use the word always, meaning it's going to be consistent. There will always be result. Okay, so let's go. Yes, no, we are already 2018 here, and at the same time, we're live on Facebook, no, in our Facebook groups. Okay, so you can revisit there and whatever things we are going to, um, to discuss. Okay, so let's go. Now, last week, we were talking about condominium specialists. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run through whatever things we have discussed. Then we go to the juice of today's uh, meeting. We've run through the condominium specialists. In fact, we started with the common terms that we discuss because this is important uh, we often hear these words in in most of the uh project review that we are attending in fact every afternoon we we do have project review and we get to hear these common terms and sometimes because we're new in the business sometimes we are we are confused and we don't know exactly how, what does it mean so we run through this uh the definitions then we talk about the types of condos because uh, there are types of condos. There are walk-up types. There are mid-rise condominium. These are 5 to 12 story high. The walk-up type are actually 4 story and doesn't require any elevator. And they are just using the stairs because it's part of the government compliance also. And we have 12 and above and these are the high-rise condominium. So these are the three categories of, of most of our condominiums that exist. Then we've got studio type, we've got one BR, two BRs, there are even three bedroom units. There are, this one is, um, is actually selling good right now. There are a lot of uh, development right now that are going into the loft type because of, I think, because of space, no? Because of space, because you get to utilize uh, your space below and your sleeping area is going to be um, quite, it's more of a mezzanine, no, it's more of a mezzanine, right, right, you, you cannot call it second floor, because it's just only one floor, so it's, it's a mezzanine, no, it's a mezzanine, so penthouse, no, it's the topmost part of the building, and it's, and it has all the features and the amenities, no? and they, they are only few in, in every buildings, okay, so we've discussed all the things that we need to remember when we do selling condominium and right now we're going to do some applications with the things that we need to remember now we had our discussion yesterday with athara condominium and i hope you were able to remember this one that these are the these are important things that we need to remember the moment we go into condominium se selling number one uh, the name of the developer of course because that's where reputation will come first now developers contact details because you might be getting some information that are very important to the discussion to your client. So sometimes you don't really have all the information at hand. So you can you can get to call someone. Uh, what are that? What are the units offered in such development? Now so you should know that the project details, the amenities. Amenities is very important because in condominium that's what they're looking at. Okay, price range. No deliverable units. Is it finished or pre-furnished? Of course, reservation fee because that's the highlight no, of closing the sale. And terms, no payment terms. What are the options available for the client? Because when a buyer this gets to decide what are the things that he needs to buy, 
the greater weight actually will go into the payment terms. Kung kaya ba niya or hindi ba niya kaya. Um, owning a property is a long-term it's a long-term investment. It's a long-term goal. Um, not much with a, with not much with a vehicle because most of the common terms of the vehicle is five years. I rarely get to have uh, to hear that there is six or seven years. Most of the vehicles is five years. Maybe because of the depreciation cost. So that's five years. So within the next five years, uh, don lang yung hirap na tinitingnan mo ha? five years. With regards to property, it's long term. You know? In fact, pag-ibig is up to 30 years. There are banks right now that offers up to 20 years. So, medyo mahaba-haba na rin. Okay? So, these are the things that we have tackled too. Um, you need to have the inventory because you need to know what are the things that are available. Um, you need to have the site development plan because you need to know where, where are the buildings are situated. Because there are buyers that are really particular with the facings of the building. So, you need to have that. Number, oh, of course, if you haven't gone there, you should have a map. Okay, that's the vicinity map. But if you were able to go there, it's going to be easy for you to describe where to go. Then this is where we left off. No, uh, We started uh, with the basic selling skills. In fact, we ran some few um, ideas in here that, that selling is all about conversion. No, We are talking about people that you have engaged in the past. It's either your existing customers or clients. Or it's either your new client that you meet somewhere. It could either be in Facebook, in social media, or even in a personal encounter. But whether it's old or new clients or contacts that you have met, the goal here is for conversion. So when we say conversion, we are going to take a look at what are the opportunities available. We need to spot, always remember, we need to spot the opportunity. Because if we cannot spot the opportunity, it's going to be totally impossible for us to really get the sale. Uh, so don't tayo, uh, kumbaga, don't tayo babalik. You know what? It may take a lot of practice. It may take a time before you and I will really be sharp enough to, to spot opportunities. But eventually, no? But eventually, as, as sabi ko pa nga, but eventually, you, as the more you keep doing this business, the more your mind becomes sharper. And that's exactly... And that's exactly true to whatever um, businesses you're go going into or even work, okay? The more you do your job, the more you do your work, the more you become so sharp with it that even a single or slight difference you get to notice it. That's exactly what happens when you keep doing, I mean, when you keep practicing what you are supposed to do. So if you want to master things, no? if you want to master things, you cannot master everything at one time. If you want to master things, you've got to stick to one thing that you need to master until eventually it's going to be easy for you to navigate. Okay. So this is where this is where we look at. Okay. Then we will talk about what is our role as, a, as an agent. Now, this is very important because in the sense, uh, you know what, in the real estate business, it's not just about the selling part. There is also what we call the servicing part. And the servicing part is actually ways greater than the selling part a lot of people actually th was, was, was is thinking that when you go into the real estate business it's all about just selling yes selling is a component of it but the greater weight actually is more on the servicing what you will do for your clients you know what this is what i have learned through through the 11 years i i've been in this business we don't need people that are really good in talking we really don't need that we, want, we need people that can communicate well, meaning can explain well. It doesn't have to be um, flashy. Kumbaga uh, sa, sa common terminology is sales talk. Uh, it doesn't have to be that. What we want is a person that can perfectly present the details. Thorough, clear, simple. Okay? Thorough, clear, and simple. We don't need sophisticated words. Remember that. Thorough, clear, and simple. Thorough, clear, and simple. And we don't need sophisticated informations. Okay? We don't need sophisticated words. We don't need sophisticated ideas. What we need 
is people that can con not, not eloquent no because eloquence is different eloquence is meaning you are you re, you are really damn good in talking that's eloquence so we don't need that what we what we need is actually people that can that can um in short maka istorya no maka istorya og taro maka istorya og claro because after all ang client nato will will always be looking at us not on not on the point na you are good in sales talking but ang client nato will always look us look at us on the area whether we are capable of explaining or not nasabtan ba nila daghan kayo sa tuwa na mosulod aning negosyo ha thinking that needs to that that we need some sales talk no we don't need sales talk we don't need sales talk what we need is someone that can thoroughly explain well na maklaro ba og istorya okay let's continue then what do great real estate sales firm do well uh, we are talking about this one the sales the sales process no and this is essentially contribute to the real estate business and this is what we have presented no at first is that the moment the moment we we are all engaged in the real estate business a communication is a very important tools if you don't have the communication tools how will our clients communicate with us how will they keep in touch with us so meaning you need to equip yourselves with communication diba if you can remember yesterday with with miss jim and she even said that we already have this form of communication messenger zoom and and everything no so uh, these are the things that people use in order to connect with us so for people that are really outside of the country most of them are using viber whatsapp and kakao talk kakao talk are actually most of the korean uh, areas whatsapp these are actually more of the Austri australia uh, singapore malaysia they 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 use whatsapp viber somewhere in the middle eastern part or in the part of the europe no and and in the us as well and of course the usual we do is the messenger and what else um instagram there are communication forms there in instagram and formerly no as formerly skype no formerly skype by the way um you just feel comfortable during this training if you wanted to take some coffee as much as i take my coffee also you can take also okay so you need to have no so please download it no download mag download na kayo kasi kakailangan ninyo yan um a lot of a lot of miss sales or opportunities na we were not able to do it because um yun we don't have the communication tools and sayang my friends no sayang um a lot of us actually were thinking na kasi magastos nang job eh, if if i'm going to to download viber kailangan ko talaga may load ako may load ako talaga kasi hindi siya pwede sa free data friends i want you to know and understand that you are in business and you need that no you need that i i know that we do, we don't have that much resources and much fun but that's exactly what business is all about we've got to do some sacrifices in order for us to achieve what we really wanted to have um all of these things doesn't come easy no but they are all doable no I, i'm going to i'm going to be upfront with you all of these things doesn't come easy but all of these things are doable meaning it can be done it will always go back to your willingness to do it your intentions in doing it now we always remember that what our, what we want to do is for all of us to really improve in our craft in our business if you are not going to improve on whatever things you're going to be doing you will never really be able to say changes in in everyone's life no so you've got sabi ko pa nga always eh for things to change you've got to change it will always begins with you it will never really happen that automatically it will change so sabi ko pa nga eh always remember for things to change you have to change sabi pa nga ni Einstein eh insanity daw to keep doing things over and over again and you are going to expect a different result so that's insanity no that's what that's what einstein said okay let's continue so these are this is the sales process that we have tackled into okay and and in in this cycle we always begins with prospecting prospecting is the most important tools 
is the most important part of the cycle because without the prospect, wala tayong iko-qualify. Wala tayong iko-qualify, wala tayong isa side treating, wala tayong ipipresentahan ng project, wala tayong iko-close. That is the reason why we're investing so much on prospecting. Number one, your presence in the social media is a form of prospecting. It's not a form of selling. Okay, there's no selling yet. Selling will only begins when there is a prospect that surface. When there is a prospect that will inquire to you, that's where selling begins. But the bulk of our job here is to make yourself and your product visible. And where do you do that? You don't go outside anymore and do flyer. That's 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 illogical. That's illogical. Can you just imagine? Even if you print 2,000 flyers, you're just staying in one location. Your reach is within that location that passes by. And they are not even the target market because those of those, those people that passes by in, in, in where you stand probably just, just passes by. So meaning you're just wasting your time, you're wasting your money, you're wasting your resources. And you're tiring yourself up. That's the reason why no longer can you see a real estate agent standing in the corner sa kalsada at nagbibigay ng flyer. It, it doesn't work at all already. Maybe before in the past, but not now. So you got to go into the social media. Ito, pag-usapan natin yung prospecting. Just a short recap. Number one, okay na ako doon, nasa, nasa Facebook na kayo. Walang problema dyan. So explore your Facebook. No? You join groups, you make some pages, para you will be able to maximize your exposure. Number two, right now there is a growing growing increase uh, there is an increasing growth sorry there is an increasing growth of people using instagram and i think it's about time that you gotta consider using instagram you can link your instagram with your facebook meaning when you post in instagram it will also be seen in facebook because they're only facebook of course no so in short you've got to explore those possibilities Possibilities are endless. Always remember, possibilities and are endless when you talk about exposing yourselves. Okay. And number three, when you are already there in the social media, please be consistent. If you are not consistent, then therefore you are not noticed. Tatalunin ka sa mga tao na consistent dun sa social media. Gera ang pinuntahan natin, kaibigan. Lahat sila may armas. Lahat sila kayang kumalabit ng trigger. Ikaw, kung hindi ka gagalaw at hindi ka iilag, matatamaan ka. Patay ka. So what you will do is this. You make yourself visible and do it regularly. You, you've got to be regular. You've got to be seen by people in there. Okay? So if you are not the type of person that um, you're not comfortable with social media, when you really got to embrace it because we, there's no any other way. There's no any other options. No, Especially right now, we are in COVID. You cannot go out there and go house to house. No, So that's it. No, So you, we, we invested so much, in, so much in prospecting. Property 24 is a prospecting tool. Lamudi is a prospecting tool. That property is a prospecting tool. Those are the things that we use in order to gather prospect. You need to have that. We need to have that. All of us, actually. Next. So this is the entire sales process. It involves three components. The lead generation, our sales presentation, and be able to handle if there are any objections raised by our clients. Always remember, always remember this one. If you are able to present clearly, thoroughly, no, and precisely, simple, no, simply, kanang overcoming objection kung naaman gani gamay ra. Pero pag ang sales presentation you are not able to prepare it well, friends, believe me, daghan kayo pangotana ang kliyente. Dagang kay pangotan ng kliyente. Jof, on man akong pangandaman, ani Jof? On man akong pangandaman, inig, inig, inig akong ipresent sa project? I'll, I'll bring you back, ha? On sa'yo mong pangandaman? Layo na totoong akiri. Mooni imong andamon. These are the things that you should be preparing. Now you, you, now you take a screenshot of that so that you will not forget it. 
Okay, you take a screenshot. Okay, so you're going to remember that because if you can present it thoroughly, then definitely the buyer or the client will be able to understand, get it clearly. If na magani si pangutana ni mo, pila reservation. Sorry, mao na lang na siguro na yung pangutana ni mo. So you are able to manage the the entire process well. Okay. So please take a screenshot, no? Take a screenshot of um, of the sales process because you will remember that from time to time. Uh, importante yan. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. Let's na. Let's go. So what are the clients' need? Ito pinag-usapan natin the last time. So yung basic needs for a dwelling place at yung isa to generate investment for their extra income. Now, when we talk about condo, most of the most of the people that nakausap natin dito ay pinag-uusapan investment. Rare lang kasi ang pinag-uusapan dito pag patungkol sa condo na dwelling place na magsistay lang siya diyan, magiging permanent residence niya. Rare lang kung meron man siguro mga panandalian lang, hindi rin for the long term. Kasi yung mga tao na for the long term talaga na wanted to build a home and a family, they will always go and opt for for a house and lot. Dito, kung titira man sila, it may be for just a number of years. Kung baga, ka kaumpisa lang, bagong kasal siguro, isa pa ang anak, so yun lang. But for the long term, I think not. Pupunta talaga yan sa house and lot. Okay? Tuloy tayo. Now, here, clients needs... Pag may need yung client, doon nag-uumpisa na makapag-create tayo ng opportunity. Dalawang opportunity ang makreate dyan. Una, yung gusto ng dwelling place. Pangalawa, yung gustong pang-investment. Yung gustong pang-investment, maganda yun. Kasi yun ang magiging repeat buyers natin. Hindi yan makontento ng isa. Kasi pag kumita na yan, uh, isa lang ibig sabihin, pag kumita na yan, mag-i-invest at mag-i-invest at mag-i-invest. Pag naayos mong may serbisyohan siya, kukuha siya balik sa iyo at hindi siya pupunta sa iba. Pag hindi satisfied sa iyo, wala na kayo pag-uusapan. Automatic 'yan, maghanap 'yan ng ibang ahente. Okay? So, DPPI properties specialist should be keen on presenting solutions to our client. Solution. Ah, in-underline ko diyan, solution. Pumunta ang client sa atin kasi may problema siya. Hindi naman problema na heaven and earth na problema. But something that he needs a help. And you are the solution provider for that. And when you are able to provide solution for him or for her, eto lang ang masasabi ko. Hindi kanya makakalimutan. Always kanya maalala. Okay? Tulad tayo. So this is where we left up actually. Okay, so we're talking about the buying process and and the selling process. Now there are two things that are actually happening in a parallel. Now, on the side of the client, this is the buying process. It will always be presented to us by a need or a want. On the side of the seller, our side, our role is to identify the need. Because if we cannot identify the need, we will be pushing a wrong property to the client. Kasi pag hin ito kasi mangyayari. Pag ang tao kasi, ang hanap niya, nag-isip na kasi siya eh, ang hanap niya ay investment. Ibig sabihin, he will be keen on how much money I will be making. I, he will be keen on the, on the location kung itong project na to ay marami bang Uupa. Marami bang magre-renta o mag-aarkila. Keen siya dyan. So, if you're going to push a property that is ideal for a home, hindi siya kukuha. Kasi iba yung hanap niya. So, you've got to identify the need. Now, on the client side, he's going to choose some options. Your role, actually, is to present the solution and the benefits. Okay. So, na-identify mo ng need. Then you prepare. You prepare for projects. Two or three projects will do. No? Huwag mo nang damihan masyado. No? But meron ka talagang isa na main push. Okay? Ibig sabihin, 
Ito yung una mo talagang i-post, but pero may spare ka na sakasakaling mag-know siya doon. Okay. What is the purpose of that? Because ang trabaho ng buyer ay mamili. Yun ang trabaho niya. Huwag mong ipilit yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi talaga para sa ano. So ang role niya is mamili. Since ang role niya is mamili, eh ano yung ano yung gagawin mo? Ano yung role mo? O siyempre, ang role mo ay magbigay ng options. Okay. Now, when you present options, please wag naman kayong mag-present ng option na medyo malayo doon sa ano, malayo doon sa main push mo kasi hindi 'yun ang intention niya. Kaya nga siya nagtanong doon eh sa una mong pinos, kaya nga nagtanong siya doon because ang pumasok sa isipan niya, gusto ko dito sa location na to. Now ngayon, pag ikaw nagbigay ka, let's say for example, ang gusto niya dito lapu-lapo diyan. For example, ang Haplomera. Ngayon, nag-offer ka ng condominium Antara, yung yung second option mo, Talisay. Ano kaya sa tingin mo ang maiisip niya? Ano ba namang ahente na to? Ang hanap ko dito na location, binigyan ako ng option sa ibang lugar pa. So kung magbigay ka ng option, siguraduhin mo na it's gonna be an option within the same location. Huwag kang magbigay ng location na, nako, milya-milya ang layo. Now, it, it will not serve the purpose. No? It will not serve the purpose and you are not helping the client as well. Okay? So, yan yan. Next, pag nakapamili na yung buyer, of course, bibili yan. Kasi nakapamili na eh. So, dito nakasalalay kung paano ka mag-prepare ng mga information. Ito yung always ko na sinasabi. Walang problema na magtanong doon sa group chat. Walang problema po dyan. Walang problema magtanong sa kapwa natin, ahente. Walang problema dyan. Pero kung gusto kang manigurado sa information na matatanggap mo, ang advice ko, dumiretso ka doon sa developer. Kaya nga, nalala mo, Every time na may 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 project review tayo, always kong sinasabi, kunin niyo yung number, record niyo yung number, screenshot niyo yung number. Bakit to? Because second always remember ha, this is the general rule. Pag second hand ang information, may chance ho yan na mali. Pag second hand. Paano mo naman nasabi, Jo, na mali pag second hand information? Eh ito Kaibigan ko to, best friend ko to eh. Parati ko tong kasama. Simple lang ang sagot ko diyan, friends. Ang chismis ho, second hand information. O, alam niyo yung chismis, di ba? Second hand information ang chismis. Ay anong nangyayari sa chismis? Ang chismis ho, parating mali yan. Kasi every time na nagpapas on yan, either may nakakaltas diyan or may nadadagdag. Ganun ho ang chismis. Ganun ho ang second-hand information. Kaya always ang sabi ko, wala hong problema magtanong sa mga kapwa natin na hente. Pero, kung gusto mo talagang manigurado, simple lang po, my friend. Get the information right from the horse's mouth. Kung saan talaga galing yung information, doon tayo magtanong. Kaya nga, Importante yung mga numbers na mga nakuha nyo. Kasi yung mga numbers na yon yun ang magiging point of contact nyo to the information. Yun ang point of contact. Kaya nga sabi ko always eh, marami sa atin kasi nasanay na ng Facebook, walang mga active email. So ngayon po, gumawa na kayo ng active email kasi yung mga developer nagsisend ng mga information sa atin via email po yun, no alam ko naglalagay sila doon sa information nila doon sa sa ano ba to uh, group chat natin alam ko yan mga updates niyan from time to time but pero pag kayo po ay tumawag sa kanila when you call them when you call them po ang always na sagot nila sir i will send it to you on your email what is your email ganun ang sagot nila hindi sila sa sagot na sige sir i-send ko sa iyo sa Messenger ano nga yung Facebook mo hindi Because the easiest way to send the information is always to ask for the email. Okay? So, ganun ho yan. So, yung wala pa pong email, 
please gumawa na kayo ng email. Oh. Ang Gmail ho, nandiyan lang yan, ready na ho, no? Uh, Gmail na lang para mas madali yung access kasi common na ngayon ang Gmail eh. Bibihira na lang ang gumagamit ng ano, ng ibang ibang browser, no? Kadalasan Gmail na, Google na eh. Okay? So, ikaw na buyer, ikaw na seller, i-close mo ng sale, no? I-close mo ang sale. Dito na ho mag-uumpisa yung mga serbisyo natin. So, dito sa selling process na to, no? Identifying the needs, presenting the solutions and benefit and you close the sale. Ito po yung pag-uusapan natin. Ito yung DPPI sales process natin. Nakikita niyo yung diagram kanina? Yung diagram kanina, yun po ang summary. Summary po yun. Prospecting, qualifying, presentation, site tripping, closing the, uh, handling objection, and closing the sale. Summary ho lahat yun. Summary yun sa mga nangyayari dito sa proseso. Itong pag-uusapan natin, ito yung Ano ba ito? Ito yung details dun sa general process. Ito yung details. So, yan. DPPI sales process. Uh, discuss the opportunity. Sa pag-identify mo ng need, when you identify the need, of course, your discussion there is about the opportunity. So, tatakol natin yan. Then, when you present the solution and benefits, dito maliwanag to kung ano, ano yung pag-uusapan natin. Tatakol natin yan. Dito yung papasok yung mga amenities, uh, mga feature ng condominium. Then, anong mangyayari pag na-close mo na ang sale? Ano ang dapat na mga gagawin natin pag close mo na ang sale? Kasi may mga gagawin tayo eh, pag na-close ang sale. Hindi lang basta yan na iniiwan natin yan sa ere. May ginagawa ho tayo dyan. Okay. Tuloy tayo. So, steps in the DPPI sales presentation process. So discuss the opportunity, present clearly the solutions and benefits, procure the sales and implement next steps. Huwag ho kayong maguluhan doon sa diagram na ikot ha, yun ay summary. Summary yun sa discussion natin na detalye dito. So ito yung detailed description pero pag gusto mo nang i-review, ah, tingnan mo lang yung diagram. Okay? So una, pag-usapan natin yung discuss the opportunity. No? Ito yung una nating pag-uusapan. Number one, Dapat intindihin nyo po yung situation ng client. Una, ito ba ay pamilyado ba? Ito ba ay single lang siya? Working? Ito ba siya ay start-up family? Ito ba siya ay single parent? In short, you've got to know what is his current standing. No, kailangan nyo malaman yan. Now, there are ways to how to ask those questions na hindi po magiging offensive. Always open the con conversation like this. Uh, open the conversation with this type of conversation. When you discuss those things about the current family standing. Ma'am, sir, would you be living together with your family? That's general. Would you be living together with your family? So sa tanong na yan, ang sagot niya ay ito. In all aspect. Ay, ako lang mag-isa. Kasi yung mga parents ko nasa probinsya, dito ako nagtatrabaho eh. Pwedeng ganon. Ay, hindi. Single parent kasi ako eh. May anak ako na isa. Oh, pwedeng ganon. Pwede rin siyang sasagot na, actually bagong kasal lang kami, kami lang dalawa muna. Oo. Oh. Kaya nga kumuha ako ng kondo na okay lang studio kasi kami lang naman dalawa eh. Siguro the first two years, eh, dito muna kami uh, habang, habang hindi pa po kami nakaanak. No? Mga ganon. So in short, that question will lead you to a different type of answer that will expose the information that you wanted to know. Di ba? Kasi ang, ang question mo lang in general eh. How do you intend to live? Uh, so in short, Hindi mo kasi alam eh. So, ngayon, inalaw mo siya na um, magsalita. Inalaw mo siya na mag-discuss further dun sa current situation niya. Jov, bakit kailangan malaman natin yan? Number one, ito po. We need to know whether siya lang mag-isa or hindi. Because kung lilipat siya buong pamilya tapos anim sila at kinuha na unit ay studio, ay hindi kakasya. Kailangan 1BR yan, 2BR ba kaya? Oh. 
So, meaning, the reason why you ask, because you wanted to know kung ito ba ay appropriate. Uh, kasi pwede rin naman siya, pwede rin naman siya mo sumagot eh. Pag tinanong mo na, how do you intend to live um, uh, in the unit? Pwede rin naman siya suma sumagot eh. Na, ay, actually, um, may, bahay na, may, may bahay na kami dito sa Lapu-Lapu. Uh, namili lang ako ng condo kasi pang investment. Uh, hindi naman ako titira dyan. So, alam mo na, iyan. Pang investment pala ito. Pang investment, hindi titira. Paupahan lang. So, you've got to take note of that. Okay. Ngayon, next na parameter. Yung source of income. Ang source of income kailangan natin pag-usapan kasi part yan ng pag-qualify natin sa kliyente. Hindi lahat ng kliyente na nagtanong sa iyo ay kliyente. Hindi lahat ng kliyente na nag-inquire sa iyo ay buyer din. Kasi ang iba dyan, hindi rin magkakwalify. So ngayon, kailangan mong i-dissect yung source of income. No? Paano ba ang paunang tanong para madisek mo yung income na saan galing ang income niya. Okay. Ganito ang tanong, 'di ba sa family sa situation ng family ang tanong mo, how do you intend to live in the unit? Uh, so sasagot siya. It's an open-ended question. So discussion lang 'yon, magdi-discuss siya. Ngayon, how are you going to ask for the source of income na hindi magiging offensive doon sa sa client, na? No? Uh, kasi ang pangit naman pag nagtanong ka, Sir, magkano ba yung sweldo mo? Ah, di ba? Ang pangit, no? Or magtanong ka, uh, basta pag magtanong kasi pag figure ng income, eh, parang ano eh, very impersonal eh. No? Uh, uh, I mean, very personal yon, Sorry, very personal yon. na bakit mo kailangan malaman? No? Para ba? Kung, baga, kung ako, yung, ako yung kliyente, ang unang papasok sa isipan ko, kailangan noy eh. but kailangan mong magtanong na kung magkano yung sweldo ko bakit manghihingi ka so ang pangit no no magtanong ka ba magkano pa magkano pa lang sweldo mo sir oh eh, minsan nakakahiya yan no pag pag ganun na type of questioning so paano ba i itanong yun ang question sige jo paano ba itanong kasi maraming maraming time na kasi ako nakasagupa ng mga ganun eh ganito ho ang pagtanong When regards to ano, with regards to, ay sorry, with regards to the source of income, sir, how do you intend to settle by the project? Would you pay it in cash, or would you like to have loans? Ganito yan. How do you intend to pay the project? Would you like to pay in cash, or loan. Ganito 'yang mangyayari. Kung may pera talaga siya, ang tanong, ang sagot niya, magkano ba ang discount pag i-cash ko 'yan? Pag may pera siya. 'Yun ang 'yun 'yun ang 'yun na magiging tanong niya. Magkano ba ang magkano bang discount ko pag nag-i-cash ko 'yan? Pero kung hindi niya i-cash, ganito ang de ganito ang sagot niya. Paano ba paano ba mag-apply ng loan? Uh, after doon sa tanong mo, how do you intend to settle? Ang next niyang sagot is, paano ba mag-apply ng loan? Ang sagot mo naman simple lang, pag magsabi na siya na, paano ba mag-apply ng loan? Sir, ano ba yung gusto mo? Banko po ba? O pag-ibig? Uh, yan ha, paunti-unti. Um, employed kasi ako eh, may meron akong pag-ibig, paano ba yun? Uh, ganun yung magiging dialogue eh. Ah, saan po ba kayo? Yeah, ito na papasok. Saan po ba kayo nag nagtatrabaho, sir? Ah, oh, paunti-unti, no? So, magre-reveal na siya. Ay, nasa ano ako? Nasa Plantation Bay. Oh, ngayon. Ito yung, ito yung smart move mo na. Kaya, ikaw, bilang isang property specialist, be keen to the average salary structure to companies. Ito, nasa, nasa Plantation Bay ito. Above minimum yan sila tapos may service charge pa yan kasi hotel yan. So malamang ang kita nito nasa sobra-sobra sa mga 20,000. Siguro nasa mga 30,000 ang manto. Ayan. So may idea ka na. May idea ka. Always remember, every answer of the client is, will, is, is, good, is a good answer that will lead you to a much better answer. No? Kasi dikit-dikit yan eh. Dikit-dikit yan. So, Either either sa sa good siya sa yon na bank or pag-ibig, the option will always remain 
na sir, saan po ba kayo nagtatrabaho? Saan po ba kalapa? Kasi magsasabi yan eh, ano po ba ang requirement dyan sa bank? Pwede, pwede ganito eh. Ano po bang pwedeng requirement dyan sa bank? May negosyo ako eh. Pwede ganun ang sagot eh. Kasi kadalasan, hindi nag-iisip ang, ang mga negosyante ha, hindi nag-iisip yung nagpag-ibig eh. Kadalasan, bangko yan. So pag ganun ang situation, magsasabi yan. Oy, pa, ano ba yung ano ba yung requirements diyan pag bangko? Oh. So ito it will lead to the next discussion. Uh, sir, saan po ba kayo saan po ba kayo connected? Uh, pwedeng ganoon, no? Saan po ba kayo connected? Ay, oh, hindi ako konektado, nagninegosyo lang ako. Uh, okay, ano yung negosyo mo, sir? Para maano natin, uh, ma, 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 ma ma evaluate natin. Ay, meron akong refilling station dito. So more or less, matatansya-tansya mo na yan. Sir, may permit naman kayo dyan. Sir, no, may mga documents kayo, may mga papilis kayo kasi kakailanganin yun sa loan processing, sir. Eh. Pag-empleyado naman, walang problema yan. Ay, okay, ma ay, madali lang, sir. Pag ano, madali, na nasa plantation bay ka na lang pala eh. Ang gawin mo lang, sir, is actually um, may pag-ibig remittance naman kayo. Um, hingi lang po kayo, sir, ng certificate of employment at saka may payslip naman po kayo. Together with your valid ID, pwede na po tayong makapag-reserve. So, ang proseso naman dyan sa pag-ibig, sir, eh, magsasubmit lang tayo ng mga documents. Ako na po ang, mag ako na po ang tutulong sa processing. O, ganun. Always present yourself to be of service. Okay? So, yung dalawang bagay na yun are very important dun sa diskusyon nyo. Mahababang diskusyon eh. Mahababang diskusyon. But, um, things can be shortcut the moment na ano na, may, may buyer ka na talaga. So dito kasi, doon sa discussing the opportunity, it will help the client recognize the opportunity to make more benefits for them. Dito niya makikita kung ano yung mga, pwede niyang ma-enjoy na mga benefits doon sa process ng discussion. Kasi pwede mong ma-presentar eh. Sir, alam mo sir, sa pag-ibig sir, hanggang 30 years yung loan natin. Ito, you can start with small amount, but eventually, pwede mo namang lakihan yung mga payments mo kasi diminishing balance naman to sir eh. Sir, maganda rin sa bangko kasi short term lang din siya. At saka sa bangko, um, kana, low, low, low interest lang. Sa bangko, um, ano pa ba? May mga promo sila ngayon, sir. Maliit lang na interest. <coughs> I'm sorry. Naalala ko dati, nung kumuha, kumuha ko ng bahay ko dito, yung agent kasi, uh, yung first intention ko talaga was for pag-ibig. And during that time, yung interest rate ng pag-ibig is 7.98. Ata, uh, 7.98. So, ang ginawa ng ahente, ganito. Sir, ito yung pag-ibig. Ito yung pag-ibig loan, sir. Ito yung interest nila, 7.98 ang interest nila ngayon. At ito yung magiging monthly mo for the next 30 years po. Pero dito, sir, sa BDO, may promo sila ngayon, sir, eh. 4.5%. Nakuha ko kasi itong bahay, bahay ko, 4.5% interest. May promo ang BDO, sir, 4.5% interest. Um, 15 years to pay lang. Ang magiging monthly mo dito, sir, 13,000. Dito, sir, sa pag-ibig, halos the same lang, 13,000. Pero mababa ang term. So, nap nap napaisip ko tuloy ako. Ah, ganun ba? So, dito na lang ako sa bank kasi pareho lang sila ng monthly amortization. Ito, short term, ito, medyo mababa. So, kasi nung kumuha ako ng bahay, hindi pa ako ahente. Oh, hindi ako ahente. May ahente ako. Magaling yung ahente ko. Magaling yung ahente ko. So, he was able to present to me. He was able to go to the process of discussion. So, ganun ho yun, no Huwag kayong mamoblema kung at first hindi nyo alam kung paano gawin to Because the more you gonna be doing this, the more kayo masanay. At huwag kayong mamoblema. Kasi itong mga training natin, pabalik-balik to. So, atin lang kayo kasi marirefresh rin kayo. O, unti-unting magdadaisik yan. At saka ito, naka-video naman. So, balikan. Pwede nyo balikan yung video. No? Pwede mong balikan ang video. Next, tuloy tayo. Now, in asking question, there are two types of questions. Ito. Ito yung tinatawag natin na open-ended questions at saka yung close-ended question. Ang close-ended question are confirmatory. Ito ang mga sagot nito ay yes or no lamang. Ito yung mga gusto na may gusto kang i-clarify or may gusto kang um, uh, yan, gusto i-clarify o gusto i-confirm. Dito naman sa open-ended question, 
you will present the question, no? present the five W's and one H. Ito yun. Ano ba yung five W's? Na? Tingnan nyo sa baba. Who, when, where, what, why. Yun yung five W's. At saka isa yung isang how. So yan, yung mga sample na lagay ko dyan. Which is the best location for his dwelling or investment unit? Why do you have problems with your existing dwelling? Ito yung mga sample lang on the process of the discussions nyo. Ay, naghanap ako ng malilipatan kasi doon sa baha, doon sa tinirahan ko ngayon. Grabe, ang ingay ng squatter. Ngayon, nagsisignal na yon. Ah, maingay pa lang squatter. Ayaw nito ng maingay. Uh, so mag-offer ako nito ng, ng condominium na uh, hindi marami ang nakatira. Ayan. Uh, so those are the things na you should be keen. Huh? You should be keen and very observant. So, Ang ito naman sa close-ended, ay wala. Simple tanong lang yun eh. Ito, uh, for example, nagtanong ka, which is the best location for his dwelling place or investment? So ang, ang counter-checking mo lang, do you want to have the best location for your family's dwelling? Oh, it's just to confirm na ito ba talaga ang gusto mo. So it's, it's a yes or no. Very simple na yan. Okay? Again, ha, ito lahat ay practice. Makukuha natin to practice lang, no? Kasi pag hindi mo prinactis to, walang wala rin to eh. So, dati kasi pag gumagawa ako ng training na to, nag nagro role play tayo. Ngayon, hindi natin magawang role play na sa online tayo eh. So, help client recognize the opportunity. Summarize the needs, no? So, your priority is to get nearer to your play. Ito yung example lang ha. So, sir, yung prioridad mo dapat malapit ka lang sa uh, pinagtatrabahoan mo. So, pag ganun ang situation, look, balikan natin yung client mo na nagtrabaho sa Plantation Bay. So, maghahanap siya ng project na malapit sa Plantation Bay kasi gusto niya malapit sa trabaho. So, ano bang condo dun? Safe yung. Ah, ano lang talaga, mga 300 meters. Oh, so, malapit. Ah, so, yun ang, yun, yun, ang, yun ang papaasok sa isipan mo. Then, Mula doon sa sinabi niya, doon sa mga pinagdidiskusyonan niyo, doon ka magbi-build up doon sa opportunity na yon. In short, ibig sabihin, ano yung ibig sabihin ng i-build up? Doon ka mag-provide ng more thorough information kung gaano kaganda ang location na yan. So dyan mo i-maximize. Eh, sinabi ko dyan, no? there's a great opportunity to maximize travel time and more productive by 30% productivity. In short, you're trying to communicate to the buyer na Sir, maganda dyan kasi since nasa plantation bay ka, uh, ang travel time mo, kasi mga 300 meters lang, pwede mong lakarin, pwede kang magbike, or pwede kang sumakay ng tricycle na lang. No? Mga ganun ba? So, you right now, being the property specialist, are right now in the possession to build up your conversation. Ang build up po ay hindi sales talk. Ang build up po, always, eto ha, when you build up an information, Always make a reference to the true information. Wag yung sales talk. Wag yung sales talk. Patay tayo dyan. Yung sales talk. Kasi kadalasan yung sales talk, mali-mali yan eh. Pag sales talk. No? At saka ano rin? Uh, personal ha? Personal to. Uh, ako, ahente ako eh. Ahente ako. I, I'm, and this, that, that's been my life. No? I've been in, in, in the selling career for... for Ilang, ilang dekada na ba? Three decades. Ayaw ko ng isales talk. Ako mismo, ayaw kong isales. Ayaw ako na isales talk. Ayaw ko na bibentahan ako. No? So, mas mainam talaga na conversation na. No? Information. Nothing beats information. No? Pag information driven yung, yung techniques natin. Okay? So, yun yun. Pag discuss ng opportunity. Okay. Punta tayo sa pangalawa. Present clearly the solutions and benefit. Okay. Yan, nakalagay dyan. Describe how the solution addresses the situation and opportunity. Briefly describe how the idea works. Talk about the features and the benefits. Use your sales script or other materials that you need. Um, ewan ko sa inyo, pero ako kasi pag may, may inquiry ako, may client ako, um, Nagkakanda ako ng sales script eh, sa sarili ko. Kung ano yung sasabihin ko. Kung ito yung sagot niya, ano yung ika-counter ko. Ready ako eh. Ready ako pag ganun eh. I don't really go into the battlefield without being ready. Okay?
Sorry. Kasi pag pupunta ka sa battlefield na hindi ka ready, patay ka dyan. Believe me, matatamaan ka ng bala dyan. Okay. So ito, pag-usapan natin. Present clearly the solutions and benefits. Okay. So ito po. Tingnan natin yung opportunities versus solutions. An opportunity describes the potential for gain and benefits. Yung solution describes the sales action required to realize the benefit. Okay. Dito sa kabila po, makikita mo yan sa kliyente. Di ba una? Yung process natin. You need to identify the need. Ano yung need? Dwelling place ba niya? Or for investment? Dalawa lang yan. Okay. Pag na-dissect mo yan, yan po ang pagbabasihan ng mga opportunities natin. Whether ang hanap niya ay unit lang na matirahan niya or hanap niya unit na pwede niyang paupahan para pang negosyo. Dito, an opportunity describes the potential for gain and benefits. Okay. Ito yung pag-usapan natin. Kung na-identify mo na ang gusto niya ay for investment, dapat maipresentar mo kung paano siya kikita at paano siya bi-benefit dyan. Kung residential dwelling naman, ipipresent mo rin kung ano yung magiging advantage niya at ano yung magiging benepisyo din niya. Kasi pag hindi niya nakita yan na may advantage sa kanya at may benefit sa kanya, walang point na kukuha siya dyan. Kasi ang tao is always gonna ask this question. What is it for me? Or what's in it for me? Ano bang meron dyan na para sa akin? Always ha, remember this. Ang tao ay normal po yan na mga tanong. Ano po ba ang meron dyan na para sa akin? Kasi kung walang para sa akin dyan, iba e ako kukuha dyan? Okay. Ngayon, dito sa solution nga side. A solution describes a sales action required to realize the benefit. So ano yung gagawin mo para ma-address mo yung opportunity na present ni client sa iyo? Of course. Pag ang hanap niya ay dwelling, mag-present, mag-prepare ka ng project na angkop or fit doon sa gusto niyang tirahan. Ayaw niya ng maingay. So maghanap ka ng kokonte lang na mga unit owners para hindi maingay kasi definitely pag maraming tao, maingay talaga 'yan. Uh, kung investment naman, maghanap ka ng project na maganda ang location. Kasi pag rental business, location ang pinakauna na titingnan mo eh. So, nasa sa'yo ang ball game ngayon. Nasa sa'yo ang pag-dice ko. Ano bang may information? Ano bang project na ibibigay ko? Ito, ito yung location, ito yung situation. Kaya nga, pag ikaw ay isang property specialist, dapat observant ka sa mga lugar-lugar na mada madadaanan mo. Hindi pwedeng hindi ka observant. Kasi yan ay magagamit mo by the time na gagawa ka ng mga presentations mo. Okay, next dito. Always get the clients to agree that there is a compelling opportunity. Pag hindi po nakita ni client na dito sa sinasabi niya may oportunidad, ay... Wala kayong patutunguhan. Ala alam mo ano yung mangyayari diyan? Magtatanong at magtatanong lang. Ang ang mangyayari diyan ay puro inquiry lang. Kaya nga minsan sabi mo sabi mo sa sarili mo, bakit naman tong mga tao na to puro naman lang inquiry? Wala namang nagre-reserve, wala namang bumibili. It's because simple lang po. Gan gan ganun yung ending diyan, no? Hindi hindi, hindi mo na ipresenta na na makita ng kliyente para makumpel siya dun sa opportunity. No? Kasi kailangan niyang makita eh. Right? Ito yung example. Um, nandito ba si Mel? Mel, are you here? Mel Berdan? Hello, Mel? Kasi interviewin ko to eh. May, 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 may magandang lesson to eh. Nandito ba si Mel Berdan? Baka nakatulog to eh. Natulog siguro to. Ay, wala na, wala na, wala na no? Sorry. 
Ay, wala. Sige, ganito na lang. I-share ko na lang. Um, lately, may shinere siya sa akin na client. Ang client, ang hanap is commercial uh, unit. Okay, commercial unit. Naalala nyo yung, ano, uh, may nag-present na commercial, hindi ko malala, basta may, nag may nag-present sa atin na PKS na commercial unit. Ngayon, yung commercial unit na yun, uh, sa pagkakalam ko, mga 12 units lang ata yun eh. Kukonte lang. Basta kukonte lang. Ang situation is ganito. Gusto niya commercial unit. Ngayon, binigyan ng information, binigyan ng computation, lahat, 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 lahat. Ngayon, ang sagot ng client kay Mel, sige, um, bibisitahin ko lang muna pag nakita ko na yung lugar sa ako magde-decide. Ngayon, ito yung challenge. Wala siya dito sa Pilipinas. Wala siya sa Pilipinas. Tapos, gusto niya kumuha ng commercial. Yung developer may 12 units lang. Aantayin pa niya kung pan, kailan siya makauwi. Ngayon, ano ba ang meron sa situation na yan? Na-identify na may need. Na-identify na may need. Gusto niya ng commercial unit. May need yan. Nandiyan na present na yung need. Pero, hindi na-realize ni client na walang, walang ganun karami na supply ng commercial units. So, wala siyang, hindi siya kumpel. Hindi siya mapipilitan. Walang compelling reason ba? Kaya nga, importante dito yung tinatawag natin na compelling reason. Ang compelling reason, ibig sabihin, dapat makita, no? Makita ng kliyente mo na kailangan na niyang kumuha kasi walang abundant supply nito, mauubusan ka. Kasi eto ma'am, ay eto lang sila. Eto lang yun ang numbers nila. Kung meron kang paraan dyan ma'am na mapatingnan mo sa kahit sino na trusted mo, patingnan mo muna. Or kung gusto mo, sindan kita ng video. Kasi ngayon, hindi ka naman makabiyahe, sindan kita ng video para makita mo yung entire location. Ang compelling reason ho, ang yun ang magdidikta kung ang buyer ay kukuha o hindi. Kasi pag hindi, hindi siya compelled to get the unit, ang mangyayari dyan, aabutan kayo ng isang taon, dalawang taon, puro inquiry lang. Nalala ko, nalala ko dati, may inquiry ako. Uh, dito lang sa Lapu-Lapu, isang taon, isang taon akong nagsusupply ng mga information. Grabe, that was on my early early days as a real estate agent. Halos isang taon. Ngayon, ito nga kasi pre-practice pa. Ang nangyayari, dumaan ang isang taon, nakapag-inquire siya sa kasamahan ko na realty. So nung nakita ko, oy, alam ko, one year na ako niyan. Sige, ikaw na naman. Ganon din ang nangyari. One year din sila. No, one year din silang question and answer. Kasi hindi hindi namin naipresenta yung compelling reasons kung bakit siya kukuha agad. So, ito yung pinaka-importante. Compel, compelling opportunity. So, never begins a sale presentation by discussing solutions. Huwag solution agad. Dapat ma-present ma ma natin sa kanila na wala wala hong wala hong ganito karami ito po ma'am ay mauubos to ito po ay uh, iilan lang ito po ay limited supply lang oh, ito may mga tao na maghahanap sabi na lang natin dito sa house and lot may mga tao na maghahanap ng gusto ng corner lot pero pag may corner lot corner unit ang tagal mag-decide ang tagal mag-decide kung kukuha ba o hindi. Dapat ma-realize niya na ang lahat ng tao naghahanap ng corner. Kung hindi mo ito kukunin, ma'am, may kukuha nito ng iba. Dapat yun po ang mga realization na pwede nating ibigay. Ano po ba ang gagamitin mo dyan? Ano ang gagamitin mo na tools dyan? So, nalala mo yung things to remember natin? Okay. Ang gagamitin mo na tools dyan para makumpel yung opportunity ay yung inventory. Yung mapa. 
yung mapa ho. Yung mapa kasi magdidikta doon sa realization ng client natin. Ay, marami na palang nakakuha. Ay, marami na palang nabenta. Ay, iilan na lang pala ang available. Kasi doon sa inventory, na picture out niya, na, kasi baka akala niya eh, walang bumibili. Baka akala niya siya lang ang bumibili at marami pang supply. So kailangan mong ipakita ang mapa para maipakita mo sa kanya na ma'am, hindi lang po ako ang nagbebenta. Marami po kami at hindi lang po ikaw ang ang bumibili. Marami ho baka maubusan tayo. Huwag mo namang sabihin ganoon. Ma'am, ito yung mapa. Oh. Mamili ka na baka maubusan pa ka pa diyan. Oh. Hindi, ipepresent mo lang. In a subtle way, ma'am, ito yung inventory natin. Uh, iilan na lang po ma'am ito, ito ma'am mo yung gusto mo na unit ito na lang po natira dito sa floor na to nakuha na ho yung iba uh, kasi hindi lang po kasi ako ang seller ma'am eh. marami pong nagbebenta nito kasi itong project na ito saleable po kasi ito ma'am eh. so dapat maipaliwanag mo yan na itong project na to saleable to iba so kailangan no kailangan so yun ang compelling reason pag hindi mo maipresenta wala ho, kawawa ho tayo. So ang basis, ano ano nga yung basis? Bumalik ka sa mapa. Uh, bumalik ka sa inventory map. Lahat ho yan, may gamit ho yan. No? So pag nakita kasi ang buyer, always remember, ang buyer ho ay 100% visual. Visual ho ang buyer. Hindi niya ma-imagine na maraming kumukuha until nang hindi niya makikita ang inventory. Pag nakita niya, ay marami na palang kulay-kulay nito. Kaya nga gusto ko mag mas maganda na kulay no sa mga na-taken na inventory. Mas gusto ko red. Bakit red? Kasi glaring eh. Nakikita agad eh. Ay, ang dami na pala. Kukunti na lang ang natira nga puti. Oh. Ganun yan eh, no? So Ngayon na ngayon na kayo nakakaintindi gaano kaimportante yung mapa. Okay, tuloy tayo. So explaining the solutions. So ito lang, very simple. Be brief, be clear. Hindi kailangan mahaba, hindi kailangan marami ang da, maraming salita. Brief lang at saka klaro. Solution can be any of the following areas. Right location, available unit, availability, you know, fair pricing, convenience or location. Always remember, hindi mo kailangan mag-sales talk. Kailangan mo lang maayos, maipresent yung information at klaro. At makikita ng client na dapat na pala akong kumuha ng unit kasi iilan na lang pala ang natira. Ano ang tawag doon? Compelling reason. No, nako-compel. Yan, ito yung word, oh. Para makita nyo. Compelling opportunity. Yan, that there is a compelling opportunity. Okay? So, so, don't just walk in with a solution na parang high pressure selling. Usually, pag yan, yan type na ahente na ganyan, wala, ang makukuha niya maraming no. Pero ang what I will advise you, Show that you understand yung need ng client at yung opportunity. Kasi doon nakikita yung tinatawag natin na sincerity. Importante pa rin po kaibigan yung word na sincerity. Pag na-feel ng tao na sincere ka, pag na-feel ng tao na ikaw ay may malasakit dito sa investment ko, most likely that person will do business with you. Not just for now, but also for the succeeding units na ipopurchase niya. So by asking question about the needs, by suggesting relevant opportunities. Meaning, ganito always remember, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Ulitin ko. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Huh? Nakuha ba? Uh. So pwede niyong i-post yun. Magandang caption yun. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Sinong nagsabi noon? Si John Maxwell ang nagsabi noon. No? So nagbasa ko kagabi ng mga books. Uh, Nag-review ako. 
na, na napasada ko uli yun. Ay, ito yung mga one of the favorite statement ko. Don't care, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So, minimize ko yan. No? Minimize ko yan kasi uh, mga, mga, mga important uh, insights. Eh. Okay. So, explaining the benefits. Every client situation always tandaan na ang mga sitwasyon ng ating mga kliyente ay unique. Always describe your solution in a way that it addresses their specific needs or unique situation. Di ba? Nag-process na kayo, nag-usap na kayo, alam mo na yung situation niya. At eto yung pag-describe mo sa solution ay angkop dun sa mga specific needs talaga niya. Do this by describing the solution features. Stress the benefits to your client. Okay? Always solution, always benefit to your client. Dapat yun ang makapture niya. Ito yung kaibigan. Always have in mind that people will always ask the question, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Ano ba ang meron dyan na para sa akin? Pag yan ay nakita ng buyer kung anong meron dyan na para sa kanya, wala ho siyang rason na hindi siya kukuha. Okay? So, provide the details. Ito na. So, offer the appropriate information based on uh, the individual client. Hindi, may mga generic rules tayo. Pero etong kausap mo na kliyente, specific yung need niya. Magbigay ka ng project na angkop dun sa pinag-usapan nyo. Kasi, kung hindi mo tailored fit dun sa, sa pinag-usapan nyo, malamang mag-usap kayo eh. Presyo, location, ano bang gagamitan niya, personal ba, tirahan lang, o paupahan ba? Ikaw ang nakakaalam nun. Na kung ikaw ay magpipresent sa kanya na hindi angkop doon sa individual opportunity na pinakita sa iyo, wala, hindi siya kukuha. Kaya nga, eh, ask if the client has any suggestion as you present the details. Itanongin nyo siya. Ma'am, okay lang po ba ito? Ano, may question po ba kayo? Ma'am, may katanungan kayo? Bakit ito? Kasi the earlier ma-clear kung ano yung in-doubt sa kanyang mind, the better it is for all of us. Okay? Haba, no? Nandito pa tayo sa P. Ha? Procure the sale. Kabe, taposin natin to hanggang I. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos din. <laughs> hanggang I lang. DPPI pa muna. No? Pero magandang discussion to. No? Magandang discussion. Uh, kaya nga ayaw kong madaliin eh, kasi magandang discussion. Procure the sales, no? or get the sale, or close the sale. Uh, other terminology lang yan ng procure the sale. Uh, naghanap kasi ako, ng, sorry ha, naghanap kasi ako ng word na magiging DPPI din eh. No? Yan, DPPI pa rin eh, para madaling maintindihan. Pangalan ng kumpanya, DPPI. Pangalan ng uh, detailed discussion ng sales process natin ay DPPI. So yun, so hanap ako ng word. Ang hirap maghanap ng word. Ayan, procure the sales, no? Number one, you got to be actively listening for buying signal. Buying signal can happen anywhere in your conversation. Mangyayari yan. May mga tao na very obvious yung mga buying signal. Next is have a bias for action. Ask for investment. Ask for the investment. Use a variety of closing techniques. May mga maraming closing technique tayo eh. Agree on what success looks like. Okay. So pag-uusapan natin to, no, yung pa paano mag-close ng sale. Magandang discussion to. Eh. Number one rule, stop selling when you see buying signal. Ano po ba 'yon? Ito yung mga mga situation na hindi nakakailanganin yung mga explanation mo kasi ako buyer nakapag-decide na ako, nakukuha ako ng unit. So wag ka nang mag wag ka nang dada ng dada diyan. Kasi kusuhin mo yung gusto ko kasi mag, magre-reserve na ako. Yun yung, yun yung point doon. Okay. Tingnan natin. What are those common buying signals? Okay. Questions about next steps. no What will it cost me? Magkano ba yung halaga nito? Kailan ba ako makakalipat? The timing. Okay. Pag ang buyer nagsishare ng future plans, ito. We plan to move in next month. Gusto ko namin kasi mo lumipat next month eh. So makikita mo hanap nito al RFO. Yan, offer ko to ng RFO kasi gustong lumipat next month. Hmm. 
So gusto namin na we're going to be near to our office and school. Gusto namin malapit kami sa school ng mga bata at sa trabaho namin. So sa June kasi, ah, sa August kasi magpapasok ka na eh. So kailangan na talaga namin kukunin ng unit na to. Ayan, buying signal na yan. Huwag ka nang mag- Huwag ka nang mag-isipan na kung ano-anong pag-uusapan mo dyan. I-ready mo na kung ano yung kakailanganin niya. Body language, no? Um, eto, sitting up. Oh. Tayo, upo, tayo, upo. Lean forward, pag ano, no? Kasi may tinitingnan. Ano nga yung computation? Magkano nga yung monthly? Oh, mga mga ganun na mga sign. Ayan, mga buying, mga buying signal yan. Kasi pag nag-usap kayo harapan, uh, pag may gusto siyang i-clear, mag-lean forward yan. Ano nga yung, ano? Magkano nga yung monthly ganun ang ganun na mangyayari diyan, di ba? So just be observant, no? Just be observant. So yung mga closing techniques, uh, ito pag-usapan natin yung mga closing technique. Kadalasan ho ito yung gamit ko trial close, no? Ma'am, ano sa tingin niyo yung project? Ah, uh, yan, trial close yan. Kasi pag sinabi niya, alam mo gusto ko to, Jeff. Oh. Pero pag sagot niya, what do you think of the project, ma'am? Hindi ko gusto dyan. Pangit eh. Wala ka bang iba? Uh, yan. No? So, it will lead you to another further discussions. Ito, direct. No? Direct closing technique. Will we ready and, and prepare our reservation now? Ito yung mga diretsahan. Uh, Tag-tripping kayo. Nakita na niya. Wala ka namang nakita or na-observe na uh, negative objection. Ito yung ginagawa minsan pag nasa site tour. Pag nasa site tour. Ito yung direct. So, ang next na question, kasi marami sa atin, ito ha, <laughs> marami sa atin pag nagtitripping, takot magtanong kung kailan mag-reserve. Problema yan talaga ng mga ahente, kaya nga sa always sinasabi ko eh, ba't di kayo magtanong? Paano, kayo, paano nyo malalaman kung kailan siya mag-reserve? Kung hindi kayo magtatanong? So, tanongin nyo. Ang iba kasi, sabi ng ibang mga ahente, eh, Sir Joff, nakakahiya kasi magtanong eh. Huwag kang mahiyang magtanong. Kasi pag hindi ka magtatanong, hindi tayo makakabenta. Ito, para pabalik-balik na sinabi ko ito. Sabi to ni Susan Roses eh. Huwag mahiyang magtanong. No? So, ito during side tour and side trips. Ito kadalasan nangyayari. Uh, direct. Ma'am, sir, um, sa tingin ko okay naman yung project. Um, gusto nyo, i-prepare ko na yung reservation natin, ma'am. Uh, tatawagan ko lang yung opisina. Ayan. Okay, magandang ano yan. Magandang dialog yan. Kasi pag ready yan, sasagot yan. O oh, sige, um, ano, bang, ano bang kailangan natin dyan, Jeff? Uh, yun lang, ma'am. ID lang at saka yung reservation fee mo. O, oh, yun. Di ba? Eh, dapat alam mo kung ano yung mga kailangan din. Then ito, pangatlo, yung pros and cons, no? The new unit is enough to accommodate you and your family. The location is attractive and accessible. So pinapakita mo lang kung ano yung mga mangiging benefits. I rarely do that because ang, ang, ang nasa mind ko, pag naipakita mo at naipresent mo ng maayos yung project, hindi na siya magtatanong yan eh. Ito ginagamit ko to as some tip technique. Na? Na I have included the down payment you will make. Ito yung example ko sa some tip technique. O, pakinggan nyo. Nagtitripping kayo. Okay. So, doon sa tripping, pag wala kayong na-observe na negative reaction doon sa client, ito yung gawin nyo. Kung gusto nyo yung assumptive technique. Ma'am, ang natira po ma'am dito sa floor na to ay eto na lang at eto. Um, alin ba dito sa dalawa ma'am ang gusto nyo yung kunin? Ayan. Inassume mo na kukuha na siya, pinagpipili mo lang. Ay, Jeff, Ayaw ko dyan kasi malapit sa hagdana, sa, sa staircase kasi sa hagdanan eh. Dito lang ako. Gusto ko eh. Nasa, nasa dulo ako. Dito lang para walang masyadong dumadaan. Ah, sige ma'am. Sandali ma'am ha. Ah, tatawagan ko lang yung opisina. Ipaparede ko yung mga dokumento para sa reservation mo. Ano bang dala mo dyan ma'am? May ID ka ba, may ID ka ba dyan? Pwede bang, pwede bang mahingi sandali? Picturean ko lang ma'am. I-send ko sa, sa developer para ma-prepare niya yung papers. Para pagdating natin, permanent lang tayo. Pag nagbigay siya ng ID, ibig sabihin, kukuha na siya. Hindi man siya nag-yes sa iyo, pag bigay niya ng ID, kukuha na siya. Bakit? Kasi kung hindi siya kukuha, bakit siya magbibigay ng ID? 
Kung hindi man siya magbigay ng ID, ito yung pwede niyang sagot. Ay, Jeff, wala akong bitbit na cash dito. Paano ba to, Ma'am, ma okay lang po, ma'am. Pagdaan, pagpunta natin sa opisina, may madadaanan tayo na ATM, pwede po tayong mag-withdraw doon. Dala niyo po ba yung ATM niyo, ma'am? Oo. Oh. Ah, oh, sige, nandito lang naman. Oh, sige, ma'am, daan na lang tayo. Send ko na lang yung ID para maredi yung pangalan mo doon sa paper para di na tayo, ma'am, ma ma ma-delay, ma-pirma ka na lang. Oh. So, convenience. Oh, pinapakita mo sa kanya, convenience. Oh. O, daan kayo ng um, ATM machine. Ito, naalala ko talaga to. Nung kumuha ako ng, <laughs> kumuha kami ng Everest. Uh, Ayan, dumaan kami sa ano ha, ito share ko lang. Dumaan kami doon sa showroom. Eh syempre may may kumausap na ahente, nag-road test kami. Uh, yan drive ako. Tapos yung yung ahente tanong ng tanong, ni record ng record doon sa mga tanong niya. Eh habang nagro-road test pala kami, pina-pre-approve ako doon sa East West. So, just in time na natapos yung road test namin, pagdating namin pabalik sa showroom, sabi niya, "Sir, na-pre-approve na ko na po kayo. Pwede na po kayong mag-down." Eh, nasyak ako eh. Pwede na akong mag-down. Eh, alam mo ano yung nasagot ko? Wala akong bitbit na pera. Pa Paano ba to? Alam mo ang sabi ng ahente? Sir, walang problema ho. Ipag-drive kita, sir, sa, bab sa baba ng dito sa... Kasi may Marco Polo yun eh. Sa, bab uh, sa ibaba ho, may, may ATM doon sa may GY. Uh, pwede ho tayong mag-withdraw doon. Imagine, pinag-drive ako. Pagbalik, nakapag-reserve nakapag ako doon sa, nakapag-down payment ako ng, ng sasakyan. So, ganun din ho yun sa real, sa real estate. No? Assumptive. You know? You've got to assume. No? Ito, powerful to, kadalasan. Ito yung, kadalasan na gamit ko, ito, trial at saka assumptive. No? Ako, personal. Kasi, ano siya eh, uh, very cool yung possession eh, pag trial close and assumptive. Pag try mo ng trial close, pag, pag hindi umimik doon, walang negative ka na makita, eh, diretso ka na sa assumption. I-assume mo na siya na kukuha. Kasi pag na-assume mo na siya, dire-diretso yan. No? Pag, pag positive siya sa assumptive technique, ibig sabihin, wala siyang resistance na kukuha ba siya o hindi. Meaning, kukuha talaga siya. So, tuloy-tuloy na yan. Tuloy-tuloy na. So, ako, ako, personal ko yan, ha? gamit ko trial close at assumptive. Pero, may marami naman kayong mga technique na ma-experience later on eh. Lahat yun, effective yun. So, may mga why not, either or, urgency. Ito, urgency. Uh, maganda to, no? I have two more. Ito yung compelling reason, sabi ko, no? I have two more units left at the new building facing at the sea view. And these are the fast moving units. So, ganito yun. Uh, may experience ako nito eh. Uh, Matagal-tagal na... na na experience um di ko malala may experience ako nito eh um di ko malala ko nung project yung basta ganito yon uh, ganito yung ganito, ganito yung nangyari di ko malala yung project eh ang tagal na pero ganito yung mga ganito yung nangyari nagtripping kami tripping kami sa project ganun uh, libot ang libot tapos nagtrial close ako sabi ko, ma'am, ano sa tingin nyo yung project? So, ngayon, okay siya. Oh, wala, positive talaga lahat. So, dumiretso ako dito sa assumptive technique. Again, dumiretso ako dito, assumptive. So, dun sa assumptive technique, sinabi ko na, ma'am, um, tumawag na ako sa opisina, pinapaprepare ko na, na ito yung mga, ano, mga kakailanganin natin para dire-diretso na lang tayo sa pirmahan pagdating ng opisina. Meron ka bang ID dyan? Ayun, ginawa ko na yun. So, nag-send na. Send na lahat-lahat. Tapos, medyo paurong-ulong, paurong-sulong siya. Ay, saka na lang, Jeff. Wala akong pera dito. Ganun, 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 ganun. Mga ganun. Ay, dadaan pa ako ng... Mga ganun ba? So, nakikita ko yung resist... Kunti lang naman na resistance. Nakikita ko yung... Yung a little bit of apprehension. So, ang ginawa ko, kumuha ako ng mapa. Ma'am, doon sa gusto mo na unit, ma'am, ba? dalawa na lang natira sa block na to. Ito, ma'am, at saka ito. Ngayon, ma'am, right at this very moment na nag-usap po tayo, ma'am, ang, ang isang client ho nandun na sa opisina. Ngayon, ma'am, kung hindi po tayo makapili dito, baka makuha niya yung gusto mo. So, ang intention ko lang, ma'am, makapag-decide ka kung alin dito para itawag natin na yan ang kukunin mo. 
at sabihin, sabihin natin na on the way tayo. Ano yun? Ha? Urgency yan. Ang tawag dyan ay urgency. Ibig sabihin, ma'am, kailangan mo na talagang mag-decide kasi dito sa mapa, ma'am, dalawa na lang to. Tapos may isa doon na nag-aantay, ng, may isang agent doon na nag-aantay ng client niya na balak mag-reserve sa any one of the unit na gusto mo. Ngayon, kung hindi natin makuha to ma'am, baka makuha ng iba. So, ano yung, ano yung final mo, ma'am? Kasi itatawag ko sa office para i-hold nila, sabihan ko lang na on the way tayo. So, ano yun? Sense of urgency. Yan ang tawag natin, sense of urgency. Minsan kasi kailangan natin iparealize yung sense of urgency na yan. Na ito ay urgent talaga. Okay? So, tips to secure the sale. No? Number one, buying signals can happen anywhere in the presentation. So, stop it. Proceed to closing. Be flexible to stop selling and close the deal. Of course. No? <laughs> No, it's just another objection. Try to clear things out. Maintain positive attitude. Then try a variety of closing technique. No, try mo. No. Ito yung always na sa sabiing ko na. Wag kayong matakot magtry. Kasi the more you try doing it, the more you understand how it works, and the more you have those experiences the better it would be for you to make some adjustment the next time around. Eh, kung hindi mo nasubukan, paano ka makapag-adjust? Tama po ba? Okay. So, kailangan mo masubukan para ikaw mismo makapag-adjust ka. Itong pinag-uusapan natin ay hindi ito dinomero, 1, 2, 3, 4, hindi ito dinomero. It can happen anywhere in the process. Ikaw ang makakapagtansya dyan, hindi ako. So the only way for you to master this one is to keep doing this one. Okay? So last is ito, implement next steps. Okay? Recap the next steps to your client kasi na-close mo na yung sale. Recap the next steps that you should do. Write down all the actions. Be prepared to implement any actions immediately if possible. Then communicate and coordinate actions with your consultant as soon as you get back to the office. Okay? Now, ang implement next step po ay documentation. Okay, ganito yan. Um, it's 11.15. Itong documentation, guys, mahaba-habang usapan yan. Okay. So, baka akala mo, hindi pa, akala nyo tapos na tayo. Ha? Hindi pa tayo tapos. So, uh, may, may part 3 pa to. Baba ko muna no, para magkita-kita tayo. Okay. Yan. Sige ho. No, para magkita tayo. Kasi iba pa rin yung magkita tayo eh. Okay. Yan ito ho yun, friends. Okay. 11.15 na kasi eh. Uh, ayaw ko ng medyo... Haggard kayo. Ayaw kong mapagod kayo doon sa information. Alam ko marami-rami tayong information. No? Um, ayan o, si, si Rowela inaantok na. No? Nanguyab na. No? Gusto nang matulog yan. No? So, malamang kayo rin. No? Inaantok na rin. Eh. So, ganito yan. Marami-rami na ho tayong information na napag-usapan ngayon. Yun ay mga relevant topics. Yun ay mga relevant discussions. Yung documentation ho, bakit ko isang session yan? Because mahaba-habang usapan ang disk. Yung, yung, yung documentation kasi will include loan processing. At saka, sa lahat ng discussion ko sa training, yan po ang pinaka-boring na topic. Oh, pinaka-boring sa lahat. Yung, yung pag-uusapan ng dokumento, pinaka-boring yan. No? Pinaka-boring. At one thing alam ko, si at sigurado ako, matutulog kayo kasi pagod na kayo ngayon eh napakaboring na topic yung documentation kaya on next friday yan ang pinakauna natin pinaka number 1 yan documentation nasa DPPI pa ho tayo no DPPI so napasa, nasa ay pa tayo pagkatapos niyan marami-rami pa ho na tayong mga diskusyon na mga points um ang, 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 ang ano ko lang po dito kaibigan no mga friends hindi kasi natin pwedeng ibagsak lahat. 
Kasi kung ibagsak nating lahat, kailangan yung iminom ng biogesic. No? Kung pag ibagsak natin lahat yan, kailangan yung uminom ng biogesic. Kasi maliban na sa sakit ang ulo nyo, walang mariretain. Walang mariretain. Sana naman ngayong araw na to may na-irritate na, na kasi walang walang problema ho pabalik-balik to. Tapos naka-record naman to, naka-video naman so pwede niyo balikan from time to time. So intentional ko talaga na I'm making it slow para lahat ho tayo uh, makapag-catch up. All in all po, ito lang po ang mensahe sa training to. Lahat ng pinag-usapan natin ay useless pag hindi mo subukan gawin. Useless ho to. Kasi mananatili lang ho tong head knowledge. The only way for you to be able to appreciate the things we're talking today is the moment that you are going to apply it yourself. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Walang problema ho pag nagkamali ho tayo. Mas nakakatakot ho pag hindi kayo nagkakamali. Kasi pag hindi kayo nagkakamali, isa lang ang ibig sabihin yan. Hindi kayo magaling. Kasi ang magaling na tao, maraming pagkakamali yan. Kasi yung learning yan ay manggagaling talaga doon sa tinatawag natin na experience base. In the, in the field of selling, always remember, always remember, that there are, there are no how-to in selling. Wala hong how-to. Wala hong step one, step two, step three, step four. At ito rin yung tatandaan nyo. You can never be like me. You can never present or sell a project the way I sell a project. Iba ho tayo. Ang pinapakita ko sa inyo ay yung principles behind. In short, kung gusto nyo maging magaling sa selling, Hanapin mo yung sarili mo at hanapin mo yung kung ano yung hiyang na mga statement mo. Ang pinapakita natin dito ay proseso. Dialogue. Pinapakita natin dito kung ano yung prinsipyo behind, the principle behind. Pero kung gusto mo talagang maging hiyang, you have to find your real strength. Yung ikaw talaga. Kasi ang selling ho, ay natural ano yan natural character dapat ang lalabas diyan ito ho, ito yung explanation marami naman siguro sa atin dito ay pamilyado married okay no so makakaintindi maliban lang siguro sa mga binata at dalaga no si uh, sino ba binata dito si Jesus siguro binata pa to no um ito yun uh, yan binata si Jesus no so mga dalaga diyan Si Jesus, binata to, no? Meron bang dalaga rin dito? Oh, ito, available to. Ganito yan, no? If you are a family man, i-observe mo yung anak mo. I-observe mo yung anak mo. Yung anak mo, pag may hihingin, no? Yung anak mo, pag may hihingin, tingnan mo kung paano siya mag-negotiate sa'yo. Very natural. Very natural at very persistent. Base doon sa karakter ng bata. Ganon siya, di ba? Pag may hihingin siya sa'yo, kung gusto niyang mag-jollibee, let's say for example, nung maliit pa siya, gusto siyang mag-jollibee. Paano ka ba niya susuyuin? Paano ka ba niya, ka, paano ka ba niya iko, iko convince na, nanay, gusto ko ng jollibee. Nanay, gusto ko ng laruan na to. Oh. Ang bata, may sariling sales talk. Iba-ibang bata, sariling sales talk sila. Kaya nga, ang pinaka-most effective talaga na way of selling is when you are able to find your real you. Kung paano ka makapag-dialogue. Kasi kung paano ka makipag-dialogue, always remember ha, selling can only happen if you are able to connect to the other person. So itong lahat ng pinag-usapan natin ngayon, ito yung principle behind, ito yung process. Pero pag hindi ka nakapag-connect, doon sa tao, hindi ka makapagbenta. Ulitin ko, pag hindi ka nakapag-connect sa tao, hindi ka makak makakabenta talaga. Kailangan mo talagang mag-connect sa kanya. At yan 
ay mangyayari lang doon based sa natural you. Sa natural you ba? Kung paano ka makipagkaibigan. Kasi kailangan mong i-establish yan eh. Ang, pagka, ang, ang paano makipagkaibigan ay hindi ko pwedeng ituro. Kaya walang how to dyan. So, ikaw mismo alam mo kung paano ka makipagkaibigan. So, ang pinaka-first step sa lahat ng pinag-usapan natin, always make into a point that you are able to connect. Pag may connect na, lahat ng pinag-usapan natin ay mangyayari na. Pero pag hindi pa kayo connected, lahat ng pinag-usapan natin ngayon, believe me guys, hindi mangyayari. Hindi talaga mangyayari. Walang bintahan na mangyayari. Kasi in connecting, remember this, in connecting, trust is built. In connecting, trust is built. And trust is the basic ingredient why will I buy a unit from you? Basic yan. Meaning, walang tao na bibili sa'yo, sa atin, kung I don't feel you to be trustworthy. Ganito yan. Ikaw ba nag-order ka ng online sa isang online seller na hindi ka, wala kang trust? Iba ka hindi makarating yung product na in-order mo. Tama po ba? You will always go back to the online seller kung trustworthy ba siya. Ito ba ay worth ba ng trust ko? So, kailangan mo talagang mag-connect kasi kung hindi ka makapag-connect, talo tayo kaibigan. Wala tayong pag-uusapan. Ang problema nito, yung connecting people ay hindi ko pwedeng maituro. Kasi wala walang walang ano diyan eh, walang training material diyan, no? Walang training material diyan. Pero ito yung advice ko. Kung paano nyo aralin paano makipagkibigan, paano mag-connect, simple lang. Uh, umpisahan yung magsimba. Umpisahan yung magsimba. No? Kasi doon sa loob ng simbahan, practice natin doon connecting people. So, eh ngayon hindi tayo makapagsimba eh, kasi ECQ eh. No? Pero, ganun yan. No? Umpisahan mo doon. Kasi in making people, making friends, I don't wanna sound really, I don't wanna sound spiritual. But, I, there's no other way how to say it. When you want to connect with people, First and foremost, it has to start within yourself. There has to be something within you. Kindness, goodness that is in you that you wanted to share and partake. Kasi kung wala ho yan, hindi ka, pa, hindi ka makapag-connect. There must be something in you 